bell on so that you get all of my new bougie content so today i have a collective haul for my birthday vacation oh my gosh <laughs> i am so excited like we've been in this pandemic for way too long i am not used to sitting at home all the time and i like to be out and about and when i say i like to be out i like to be out of america like i like to travel i like to get out we like to be free we like to go okay we like to go so I know y'all saw that we did like a little mini trip to the Biltmore um, around Christmas time, but this is literally our first vacation since the pandemic. And I am so freaking excited. Like, please get me out of America as soon as possible. And I mean, I love my country, even though it's pretty effed up at times, but baby, I need this vacation, okay? Like, I am over it like i'm over all of our mess here and i just need to breathe and relax and be in paradise with my nice pina colada in one hand margarita in the other hand my booty sent up on my husband okay that's all i need okay <laughs> so today i'm going to be showing you girls what i bought from two different instagram boutiques of course my favorite fashion nova but also another company that i like to shop with called chic couture so i've bought a couple items from chic couture before in the past but they're a bit more pricey than like fashion nova and they rarely have sales so i don't really shop with them often and then in the past a couple of the pieces that i've gotten i felt wasn't worth the price tag that they were and so i felt like you know if I shop with them it needs to be for like a really exclusive item or it needs to be when they have a sale and so that's what I did so I was scrolling on Instagram one day and I saw that they were about to have a 25% off happy hour within like the next couple hours or so so I was like hmm I haven't shot with them in a while so let me see just what they have in case you know I found some little cute little outfits to take on my summer vacation so uh, that's what I decided to do and I'm so glad I did because I came across so many cute pieces. I actually ended up finding my bomb ass birthday dress from this company but unfortunately for you girls I am not going to post my birthday dress in this haul. You'll just have to follow me on Instagram. The link is below in the description for y'all to see that beautiful gem. So I know I told y'all in my prior videos that I wasn't going to tell y'all where we were going, but by the time this video goes up, I'll already be on vacation. So we are going to Cabo, and yes, I see everybody is going to Cabo, but hey, we have to be safe and sorry because I refuse to go get stuck in the Maldives because that's where I really wanted to go. So this first outfit is the perfect outfit for my vacation. It is called Cooper Multi Neon Print front lace up top and slit skirt sheer set so that's a lot but anyways it's this cute little two-piece set and it's like a little halter top and you see it ties up around the stomach and then the skirt has this beautiful slit in it and you can twist the skirt however you would like but i'm just gonna wear mine twisted to the side and as y'all can see this is like the perfect set for vacation like there's no other place that you should probably wear this to unless it's a pool party maybe but like this is beautiful to be on the beach with or on a boat or just anywhere in the tropics, okay? Like, this set says it all. This is beach ready material. I am here for this outfit, okay? I am living for it. Ken saw that outfit and he was just like, ooh, I like that. I was like, I bet you do. <laughs> So next I have this beautiful mesh burnt orange colored dress. The official name of the dress is called Yaffa Rust Sheer Mesh Multi-Way Strap Dress. Alright ladies, so let me just keep it a buck with you. This dress is so complicated. It has six long strands of fabric on it and you literally have to intertwine, crisscross, wrap, tight, strap, button, zip, flip, backwards, forwards upside down everything you have to do everything to the straps to get it to look right properly like 
Oh my god, I don't think it is a certain way to tie the dress, but you just keep wrapping and tying. Just wrap and tie. Ash said it looked like a mommy before I actually bought it when I showed her what it looked like on the um girl. But then when I bought it and I sent her a picture when I tried it on, she was like, Oh, you the baddest mommy I've ever seen. <laughs> it's a bomb ass dress, as y'all can see. Like I definitely have to find the best underwear to wear under it because it is obviously very mesh, very see-through. Um, the model had on the nude color underwear, but I was wondering if I could wear black. I don't know if that would throw it off, but either way, I definitely need to find the appropriate undergarments for this dress or else this is a no-go. Lastly from Chic Couture, I bought this cute little bustier that... Um, I thought it was very nice and appropriate for like spring, summertime. But I was a bit on the cautious side because, I mean, my girls are pretty big. And I don't really like to wear corsets and things like that because my girls do what they want to do. They just have a mind of their own sometimes. Um, and that's kind of what I saw in this bustier. Like, I mean, it fits. And I do have it like on the, I think the third set of hooks. Because as y'all can see, there are a lot of hooks on that uh, top. But I probably should tighten it up a little bit and maybe fix the straps. And the straps are removable, so you don't even have to wear the straps with it. But I think I need to fix it a little bit more because I don't like how it looked. But I do like it with those shorts. I think that is really cute to wear with those shorts and some heels. Um, but I don't know. It kind of just seems like it doesn't fit me right. And this is a size medium, but I don't think I needed to do a large because the large would have been way too big. Because again, I can even tighten this one up. I just need to find the proper placement for my boobs. And I don't know if I stated, but everything that I bought was in a size medium from Chic Couture. So the two-piece set, the bustier, and the dress, they were all in size mediums. So I really do like all three of the items. I didn't decide to send any of them back. But again, I just felt that bustier was a little bit on the mm, side. So once I really figure out a good way to wear it, I think it'll be really cute. And again, I liked it with the shorts. And I probably even wear it with like some white pants or something. Maybe like some dress pants if I want to dress it up a little bit. But um, it'll be a good outfit. I just got to figure out how to make my girls look nice in it. Alright, so moving on to Fashion Nova. So, of course, I could not go on vacation without shopping with Fashion Nova. I mean, who does that? Like, Fashion Nova is a one-and-done type of apparel shop, okay? Like, I have no shame. I buy stuff from Fashion Nova, and then I give it away the next season. It's just how it is. And I don't feel bad about it because I always get, like, at least 30 to 40% off. And when I'm lucky, I get 50% off. So I don't feel bad because their clothes are already cheap and I just don't feel like I'm losing out. So in comparison to how much my clothes cost versus Kian's clothes, I think I'm good. So let's start with those shorts that you saw me wearing with the bustier top from Chic Couture. These are the Sasha shorts from Fashion Nova and I have them in the colors taupe and ivory and they both are in the size medium. I think these are some nice classy shorts. I don't feel like, you know, I look inappropriate if I wear them around family my butt cheeks don't hang out like they are some nice classy shorts and when you're a woman with thick thighs and you're on the thicker side like myself it can be hard to find like shorts that actually fit you and that look right on you because I have a short torso already and then I am short and so I just feel like certain shorts definitely don't look right on me but I also don't want to be walking around like a hoochie mama all the time Maybe a little bit. Sometimes. Not all the time. So I do be wanting to find some items that will last more than one season. And I feel like these shorts are definitely some that will be around for a while. Um, again, I love how you can dress these shorts up. But at the same time, I could probably dress them down if I wanted to with like some flats. But they'll look just as great if I put them on with some heels. Next, I have this cute little peach matching set called Talk To Me Biker Short Set. And this is in a size small. I read the reviews and all the girls were saying how it was so stretchy. It was a great material. They wish they had sized down. And so naturally, I'm a medium. I decided to go with the size small. And I'm glad I did. As y'all can see, like, it does fit good. Um, these are biker shorts. I'm not really a big fan of biker shorts. So I was kind of worried how they would look on me. But they actually look pretty good. Um, I felt like this would be a nice little outfit to wear just hanging out. 
um, walking around, you know, exploring the area, just on a day out where we're not doing much. I felt like this would be just like a cute little outfit to throw on and wear, just to be comfortable in. And so, I really like it. So, as y'all can see in the clip, I don't have a bra on with the actual top. But I just saw a video the other day on Instagram showing how bigger chested women can wear like little shirts like that and like wrap the strings around their bra a certain type of way to camouflage the bra. So I'm going to try that when I wear this. But if not, girls, I'm just sticking with the silicone pasties and keeping it moving for my nipples. Moving on, I have these cute little exotic leggings called Selena Mesh Leggings. And these are in a size medium. Um, I just kept this top on, so disregard that. But these leggings are so freaking cute. Like, they are stretchy. I was careful not to poke a hole in them with my nails. And I think that these are just some really cute going out type of leggings. So I bought these leggings just to have in my wardrobe so that, you know, if I go out with Keon or have a girl's night, just throw on a nice little top, maybe some heels, and, you know, be on my baddie type thing. Girl, Kim saw them leggings and was like, you can only wear those in Cabo. I said, sir, these were not for Cabo. <laughs> he was like, what? I was like, I didn't buy these for Cabo. I bought these just to have. <laughs> so, yeah, girls, I don't know. I ain't wearing these in Cabo. I might take them just in case I find a shirt to go with them, but I do not plan on wearing these in Cabo. But I just definitely wanted to throw these in a cart because I've had them in my favorites for a while at Fashion Nova, but they've been out of stock. And so when I saw that they were back in stock, I was like, oh yeah, let me go in and snatch those up. Moving on, I have this cute little rumper that at first I was kind of hesitant about, but then I saw the vision. Like, I was there and I was like, I will rock the hell out of that. And I am so glad I did. Okay. So, it's called the Bahama Mama Rumper, and it's in black and gold. So, when I tried this on, it gave what it needed to give, okay? Like, it's a rumper set, but it looks like a dress, and it is so freaking cute. So, as y'all can see, it looks like it's zebra print, but where the white would be, it's gold. And when I tell y'all, like, this look good, it looks good. It's so comfortable. Like, I'll probably wear this to dinner um, on just a regular night. Not my birthday dinner, but, like, on a regular night when we go out. I'm going to definitely wear this with, like, some heels in my bag because... I'm about to dress this outfit up. Like, it's so much better than I expected it to be. I am so glad I bought it because, y'all, at first I was like, mm, no. And I asked Ken, did he like it? And he was kind of like, mm, it could be cute. But when I actually put it on and I put on my shoes and my bag with it, I said, oh, bitch, this is a fit. <laughs> so this next dress is giving straight beach baddie goddess material, okay? This is the Laguna Beach Halter Maxi Dress. And it is in the color Marsala. And this dress is a small. So I bought this dress in a size small based on the reviews that I was reading on Fashion Nova. And the women were saying like how it's a really nice, soft, stretchy material. And how a lot of them wish they had sized down. So I took their advice and I decided to size down. And I am so glad I did. Like this dress is serving body like oh my goodness y'all can see it like y'all see it so this is another sexy dress to wear to like dinner um and I think it's just real nice it's fitting for the setting that I'm gonna be in so maybe like if me and Kian do like a romantic dinner one night I think that would be the perfect dress to wear with some heels and a cute little bag and it's comfortable it's soft and you know just take the thing off when I need to <laughs> So this next dress is called the Exotic Touch Printed Maxi Dress. And I just love the colors of this dress. So as I've told y'all before, I absolutely love earth tone colors. Like I just feel like they work with my skin really well. And I love the fact that this maxi dress has two slits in it. Honestly, if it didn't have the slits in it, I probably wouldn't have bought it. But I think the slits just make it very sexy. Even though I don't know if you'll be able to see the legs much when I walk, but it'll be real cute when the breeze catch it and like blows it back. So I think that could be a really good picture. The only thing I don't like about this dress is the two straps that go on your boobs. They're very big. So this part is a bit oversized and I did see people complaining about that in the comments. However, what I decided to do to combat that issue is actually twist them up. 
So when you twist both of the straps and make them tighter, it makes it more fitted to my boob. And that way it's kind of like a bra kind of sort of so that my boobs actually sit inside of the straps and not necessarily just float in behind them. So I find that to be very helpful for me and that's why I bought it anyway. So I figured it was probably women with smaller breasts who was having that issue. However, when I bought it and got it myself, I saw that that was not the case. So that's what made me improvise and I decided to like try twisting it. And when I saw that it worked, I was like, okay, I'm going to just twist it and tie it in the knot. And that actually worked really well for me. So I do like how this dress looks. You do have to finesse it a little bit. But again, I think it's a beautiful dress for vacation. All right, ladies, last but not least, I have this white cover up, but I decided to go ahead and show y'all the swimsuit that I bought in my last haul that goes with this cover up. So I wanted to get a cover up to go with that swimsuit because I do plan on wearing that at a specific event on vacation. And I didn't just want to walk around with my ass all out. So I decided I needed to put something on on the bottoms. So the cover up is called the Island Baddie Wretched Skirt Cover. And as y'all can see, it has the um, strings on the side so that you can like tighten it. And you can actually like raise it higher or lower depending on how short you want the actual um, skirt to be. But the swimsuit itself is called the Rhinestone Drip Wrap Swimsuit. So this swimsuit has these two very long strings that you have to tie around your neck in the back and then they wrap around your back and then you tie it in the front. And so I thought this would be a really nice uh, swimsuit to wear for my actual birthday. So I thought the rhinestones were very glamorous and I love to sparkle in like a classy way, not in a bubblegum cheap rainbow looking type of way. <laughs> um, so I thought this was such a beautiful swimsuit. So I did buy this swimsuit during a 50% off sale that they had earlier in the year and I decided just to go ahead and buy a cover up for my trip. I absolutely love this swimsuit. Like I'm definitely doing the most with this. Okay, like this says birthday glam all over it and I am here for it. I am absolutely here for it. Alright ladies, so that concludes this collective chic couture slash Fashion Nova try on haul for my vacation. Um, I hope you ladies enjoyed all of the pieces. Be sure to follow me on Instagram to check out how I rock these pieces on my vacation. I will be vlogging during my vacation, so stay tuned for those videos because it's going to be exciting. Like, girls, we have a full itinerary. Like, this trip is about to be lit, okay? Like, this is what I've been missing in my life. So let me know in the comments if you have questions about any of the pieces that I've tried on or if you have any questions about Chic Couture or Fashion Nova. Be sure to check out my Instagram so that y'all can see my birthday dress because when I tell y'all I'm about to shut it down in Cabo. Like my birthday dress, girls, y'all, mm -mm. I, I didn't even want to ruin the surprise. Like I want to build that momentum because by the time y'all see this, y'all going to be like, she didn't put that in the haul. Nope, I sure didn't. Mm -mm. that's that exclusive content i be talking about when i say follow me on instagram below in the description but again thank y'all so much for watching my channel i really appreciate it oh my goodness we're almost at 500 subscribers so i'm gonna be thinking of what to do for y'all for my 500 subscribers giveaway in the meantime i need y'all help spreading the word so please continue to like these videos so that we can get the algorithm on our side and share these videos with your family and your friends so we can get these subscribers up and continue to build our pretty and sedity nation across the world because there's too many pretty and sedity girls out there who don't know about my channel but in the meantime thank y'all so much for watching i really appreciate y'all i love y'all and i'll see y'all next time